Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on the Saturday, May 23rd, 2020. I'd like to bring you said information uh, out of the state of Georgia pertaining to um, the murder of Ahmaud Arbery. And if you need verification for the storyline, please log on to NBC News. Man who filmed shooting death of Ahmaud Arbery used vehicle to detain him, warrant says. William Roddy Ryan, 50, is the third person to be arrested in the killing of Ahmaud Arbery in Brunswick, Georgia on February 23rd. And this was updated uh, yesterday. The Georgia man who recorded the fatal shooting of Ahmaud Arbery used his vehicle in an attempt to detain the 25-year-old during the incident, a state criminal warrant alleges. The man, William Roddy Bryan, 50, was arrested Thursday on charges of murder and attempted false imprisonment. Authorities said he is the third person to be arrested in the death of Arbery on February 23rd in Brunswick, Georgia. Bryan is accused of using his vehicle on multiple occasions between about 1 p.m. and 1.20 p.m p.m. that day to attempt to confine and detain Ahmaud Arbery without legal authority, the warrant states. Investigators believe this underlying felony helped cause the death of Ahmaud Arbery. Georgia Bureau of Investigation Director Vic Reynolds said Friday, referring to the charge of attempted false imprisonment. Reynolds also said at a new conference Friday that the felony murder charge against Bryan falls under a state law which states that when a felony crime results in a death, it is felony murder. Upon his arrest, Bryan was turned over to the local jail in Glenn County, Reynolds said. Earlier this month, Gregory McMichael, 64, and his son, Travis McMichael, 34, were arrested after the video of Aubrey's fatal shooting was released. The McMichaels have said they believe Aubrey was a burglary suspect and that they armed themselves before pursuing him because they believe he might have a gun, according to a Glenn County police report. George McMichael told officers that Aubrey began to violently attack Travis, who fired after the two started fighting over the shotgun, the police report said. Aubrey's family has said he was out jogging when he was shot to death. In a statement Thursday, lawyers for Aubrey's parents said the family was relieved that Brian had been arrested. His involvement in the murder of Mr. Aubrey was obvious to us, to many around the country, and after their thorough investigation, it was clear to the GBI as well. A lawyer told Brian Kevin Go told excuse me, a lawyer for Brian. Kevin Go, excuse me, told NBC's Today show earlier this month that Brian was only a witness to the shooting and had fully cooperated with the investigators. Brian was in his yard when he saw Aubrey running, followed by a white pickup truck with the McMichaels in it, Go said. Brian followed them because he wanted a photo of Aubrey, the lawyer said. There had been a number of crimes in the neighborhood, and he didn't recognize him, and a vehicle that he did recognize was following him, Go said. Go added that Brian voluntarily went to local police and answered questions during a lengthy interview with, without a lawyer. Go further said on Monday that Brian took a polygraph test voluntarily without being asked, and he noted that such tests are inadmissible in court but can be used to guide the decisions of prosecutors. The attorney said that test confirmed that Brian was unarmed at the time of the shooting and that he did not have any conversion with Gregory or Travis McMichael that day prior to the shooting. Go also reiterated Monday that Brian was merely a witness to the killing. But Reynolds said Friday, if we believe he was a witness, we wouldn't have arrested him. He added that he doesn't expect more arrests in the case. At this point, we feel confident the individuals who needed to be charged have been charged. And this is the said news by NBC. So, uh, to recap this uh, storyline out of Georgia, um, a William Roddy Bryan 50, a neighbor of Mr. McMichael, was also charged with false charges of murder and attempted false imprisonment. And this is pertaining to the death of Ahmaud Aubrey on February 23rd. I am happy with this uh, said um, arrest. I've made that clear in the past videos that I've made pertaining to this case. I felt like he was also a party to this because he went along with it. Now, this article is stating that he took a polygraph test and that he did not have a, a, um, a weapon and yah, yah, yah. But that doesn't mean anything to me because... Oh, and it also states that they hadn't, he hadn't had a conversation with Mr. McMichael, Gregory, nor Travis before the incident. He just happened to see them following him 
I still find that odd. And I don't know about what the test say or didn't say, but I do believe that they had some type of conversation. I just, in my mind, can't believe that he saw them following Mr. Aubrey in a truck or a car, which is however, and decided, well, let me go get my phone and follow them to see what's going on. First of all, why immerse yourself into something that didn't concern you? And I think you, I think this Mr. Roddy did know what was going on that day. And I won't doubt that Mr. McMichael called him to say, hey, this is a guy who I think has been robbing the neighbors in the neighborhood. Get your camera out and film us. However it went, conversation or not, this Mr. Roddy took it upon himself to get involved in something that he knew nothing about. Roddy Brian, William, William Roddy Brian, you got yourself immersed in something that didn't concern you. You had no knowledge of what was going on. You hadn't witnessed a crime pertaining to Mr. Ahmad Aubrey, so you didn't have any business following him, recording the, the incident. And then later you say they were wrong for firing the weapon. But see, this is what happens when you get involved in things that you don't know anything about. And frankly, it was not your business. And it wasn't their business either. Because obviously, nothing has shown evident that Mr. Aubrey had been participating in anything unsavory on the 23rd of February. So neither of you all should have been following him, detaining him, blocking the street. And that's just a set information. And... I am happy with the results. I'm happy that he was arrested because I feel like he was a party to it. And I think he tried to make himself seem as if he hadn't done anything because he's gone forth to the police. He's gone forth to, you know, to let them know, hey, I saw this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I talked to the police without an attorney. That doesn't mean anything to me because you felt guilty once they murdered him and realized, okay, besides me just filming them approaching him with the gun, having words. They've now murdered this man. And now I filmed this on my tele on my phone. And you blocking the road. Yes, you're guilty. And you're a part of the murder. And that's the set information coming out of Georgia. And now three people have been charged with the murder of Ahmaud Arbery. And I'm satisfied with that. And... That's the 411. I want to thank you all for listening, liking, like the video, share, subscribe. Thanks for my new subscribers. Um, this is a good day. This is absolutely a good day. And this is showing up a good day in the high 10. Hope you all are safe out there. Mask up, glove up when you go out. Be safe out there. Thanks for joining me. And until the next video, this is Everyday Shenanigans. You all have a safe weekend. Bye-bye.